so I have seen many people who use a capture page without the need of using autoresponder. They just want to collect the information that their subscribers submit to their form. And it is perfectly normal to, to need something like that. And you know, with WPLE Plus and another plugin called CForm, you can s set up something like that very easily. So here's how you can do it. So I have WPLE Plus installed here. And now I will need to get CForm installed on this website too. You can get CForm's plugin here for free. This is the URL. And you click here to download the plugin. I have already downloaded the plugin, so I will install it now. So now we have CForms installed and activated. Now before creating the form, we will need to do some settings to make sure the form will work properly. I do CForms 2 here and click on global settings. You will see uh, I click on WP editor button support and if you see this box unchecked please check it and click on save and update form settings here now we will go and create our form i click on form settings here the first thing you need to do is to uncheck this box And this is the form that CForms built by default for us. So for example, I want to set up a form to collect name and email. So it has a phone field here. I just click on the, the X icon here to delete that field, the phone field, because I don't need it. So now we have the form fields set up and there are another two settings you need to pay attention to this is from the core admin email options here and this is the place you set up a thank you page for your form the thank you page is the page your subscribers see after they submit the information so in order to set up a thank you page, you will need to click to check this box here. And in this field, you enter the URL you want the subscribers to see after they submit their information. I just use my home page here, but you can set up to any page you want. And the last setting you need to pay attention to is the admin email. This is the email will receive the information that your subscribers submit. So enter your email here and click on save and update form settings. Now we have created our form. Now we need to put the form on a page. So I go to pages and add new. I set up a very quick page here. This page will not be visible to your subscribers. We just need to get the form on this page. So I click on the C forms icon here and click on insert here. And we publish. Now we view the page. So this is the form. It doesn't look very nice, but we we don't need to worry about this. I will need the code of the form by right click. I click on the field here. I'm using Chrome. I click on inspect element. You need to get to the form tag here and right click on it. 
click on copy as HTML and I open a text editor I paste the code here and this is the field you want to pay a lot of attention to you will need to insert the, the home page before this to get a full URL to do the form if you know something about HTML you will understand why we do this but if you don't know about HTML just copy your home page and paste before this part I click on here paste and be sure to delete one slash so now we have the form code now we will use this code in WP Plus. So I go to WP Plus. Click on create and edit. I select a template with a video. No video? Okay. Yeah, I get this one. Edit this. Okay, I change the color. Okay, so now I will copy this code and click on code, email, paste the code in, I click outside and you will see this is the form we, we created in C forms. This is the email field, I click on here, click on email. set a name for it and then I click on publish we can set up the background here make it look better now we will view the page Now we see this is the squeeze page we have just created. I will add some dummy information here. And I will click on this button to submit the information. And you see, this is the thank you page I set up. Now I'm going to check my email. And sure enough, we have the information here.